Yo, 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 tech enthusiasts and curious minds, welcome to the Daily Show's breakdown of the hottest tech race on the planet. China versus the USA, battling it out for chip supremacy. It's like the Olympics of microprocessors, except with way less running and a lot more, well, silicon. Imagine a world where your smartphone is dumber than a brick. No more scrolling through TikToks, no more late-night online shopping sprees. That's the world without computer chips, the tiny brains powering everything from your smartwatch to your Tesla. And right now, China and the US are locked in an epic showdown to be the top dog in the chip game. So buckle up, buttercup, because we're diving deep into this high-stakes tech battle. We'll break down what's at stake, why China's making this bold move, and whether the US should be sweating bullets. Let's go. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. For decades, the US has been the undisputed king of the chip industry, Silicon Valley, baby. It's where tech dreams were made, apps were born, and chips were crafted with the precision of a Swiss watchmaker on five espressos. But hold up, because China's decided it wants a slice of that silicon pie. A big slice. Think of it like this. The US has been chilling in a jacuzzi of tech dominance, sipping on a digital margarita. Suddenly, China bursts in, throws on a speedo and yells, cannonball. The water's about to get real choppy. China's plan is ambitious, to say the least. That's like trying to learn Mandarin, become a Kung Fu master, and write the next hit Netflix show all in the time it takes to binge watch Stranger Things. Ambitious. Definitely. Impossible. Let's find out. So China wants to rule the chip world by 2025. That's just around the corner, people. It's closer than you think. And the clock is ticking fast, but can they really pull it off? The stakes are incredibly high and the competition is fierce. It's like saying you're gonna win the next marathon, even though you're currently on the couch eating chips. The potato kind, not the computer kind. Possible, sure, likely. Well, that's a whole different story. Here's the deal. Making chips isn't like whipping up a batch of cookies. It's a meticulous process that demands precision and expertise. It's incredibly complex, requiring cutting-edge technology, billions of dollars in investment, and a whole lot of brain power. We're talking about some of the brightest minds in the world working around the clock. China's been throwing money at the problem like it's going out of style, building factories, poaching engineers, and basically doing everything short of challenging Elon Musk to a chip-making duel. They're pulling out all the stops. But here's the thing. Even with all that effort, 2025 is a ridiculously tight deadline. The pressure is immense, and the margin for errors razor thin. The US still has a massive head start, and they're not exactly going to hand over the chip crown without a fight. They've been in this game for decades and have a well-established infrastructure. Think of it like a tortoise and hare situation, except the tortoise is armed with a patent portfolio and a team of lawyers. The race is on, and it's anyone's guess who will cross the finish line first. The global tech landscape is shifting rapidly, and the finish line for chip domination is still up for grabs. Stay tuned because this race is far from over. Now, some folks might say China's just going to copy everything the US does. They think it's all about mimicking and replicating what others have already done. And sure, there have been accusations of intellectual property theft in the past. These stories often make headlines and fuel the narrative that China is just a copycat. But to be fair, China's strategy goes way beyond just peeking at Uncle Sam's homework. They're not just sitting back and copying. They're actively innovating and pushing boundaries. Think of it like this. Imagine you're trying to beat your buddy at basketball. You could spend all your time watching their moves and trying to replicate them. You could try to steal their playbook, but that's only going to get you so far. Eventually, you'll need to bring something new to the table. No, to really dominate, you've got to develop your own skills, come up with new moves, and maybe even invent a whole new way to play the game. It's about creativity and innovation. That's what China's trying to do with chips. They're not just copying. They're creating and innovating. They're investing heavily in research and development, pouring resources into cutting-edge technology and scientific advancements, 
nurturing their own tech giants like Huawei and Smike, companies that are becoming powerhouses in their own right, and focusing on areas where they see an opportunity to leapfrog the US. They're identifying niches and sectors where they can excel and lead the way. They're like that friend who suddenly shows up to the court with a killer three-point shot, a move that catches everyone off guard, leaving you wondering, where did they learn to do that? It's a combination of hard work, strategic planning, and a relentless drive to innovate, pumping the brakes roadblocks on China's chip highway. Okay, so China's got the ambition. They're throwing money at the problem, and they're de developing their own tech prowess. They're building state-of-the-art facilities and investing heavily in research and development. But hold your horses, folks, because this chip race is far from over. It's like trying to win the World Cup with a team of enthusiastic amateurs. You might score a few goals, but you're probably not lifting that trophy. Second, the supply chain. Making chips is like baking a cake. You need ingredients from all over the place. These ingredients aren't just raw materials. They include highly specialized components and machinery. And many of those ingredients, like the specialized equipment used in chip fabrication, come from, you guessed it, the US and its allies, but now China is catching up really fast. These countries have a long history of technological innovation and manufacturing expertise. Cutting off China's access to these essential supplies could seriously hamper their progress. Without these critical components, even the most advanced factories can't produce chips. It's like trying to bake that cake and realizing you're out of flour, sugar, and eggs. Time to order takeout. And in the high-stakes world of semiconductor manufacturing, ordering takeout isn't an option. China will need to find a way to overcome these hurdles if it wants to compete on the global stage. Uncle Sam ain't sitting still. The U.S. response. U.S. hasn't exactly been sitting around twiddling its thumbs. First, the U.S. is pouring billions into its own chip industry. Remember that whole throwing money at the problem thing China's doing? Well, the U.S. invented that move. They're providing funding for research, incentivizing domestic chip production, and basically doing everything they can to stay ahead in the chip game. Second, the U.S. is playing hardball with export controls. The U.S. has been restricting China's access to them, like a bouncer denying entry to a club. They're also pressuring their allies to do the same, creating a united front against chip ambitions. The world's watching global impact of the chip race. This chip showdown between China and the US isn't just some regional squabble, it's a global event with implications for everyone. Imagine a world where the internet slows to a crawl, smartphones become luxury items, and your self-driving car suddenly forgets how to drive itself because of a chip shortage. Not exactly the utopian future we were promised, Countries are being forced to choose sides, companies are caught in the crossfire, and everyone's holding their breath, wondering what the future holds. It's like the whole world is watching a tennis match between Serena Williams and Naomi Osaka, except instead of a trophy, the fate of the global economy is on the line. No pressure, guys. Beyond smartphones, why chips matter more than you think. Okay, so we've established that chips are important, they're in our phones, our computers, our cars, basically everything that makes the modern world tick. But here's the thing. Chips are about to become even more important, like way more important than you probably realize. Think about it. Artificial intelligence, 5G networks, self-driving cars, personalized medicine, space exploration. All of these groundbreaking technologies rely on powerful, sophisticated chips. Whoever controls the chip supply chain will have a significant advantage in shaping the future, not just in tech, but in every aspect of our lives. And it's like having the keys to Nitzka Kingdom, except instead of a medieval castle, it's the future of humanity. The no biggie, what's next? Predicting the future of the chip industry. So what's the next chapter in this chip saga? Will China achieve its ambitious goal of overtaking the US by 2025? Will the US maintain its dominance? Or we see a new world order emerge with multiple players vying for chip supremacy? Honestly, folks, it's anyone's guess. The chip industry is incredibly complex with so many factors at play that it's impossible to predict the future with certainty. It's like trying to predict the weather six months in advance. You might get lucky, but you're probably better off just bringing an umbrella and a raincoat and maybe a boat just in case. One thing's for sure, the chip race is far from over. Buckle up because it's going to be a wild ride. 
your two cents. What do you think about this tech showdown? All right, folks, that's our take on the epic chip battle between China and the US, but we want to hear from you. What do you think about China's ambitious plan? Is the US right to be worried? Who do you think will come out on top? Hit us up in the comments below and let us know your thoughts. And hey, while you're at it, tell us what other tech topics you'd like us to tackle in future videos. We're always down for a good tech deep dive. Stay tuned for more tech deep dives coming soon. That's all for today, folks. Thanks for joining us on this wild ride through the world of chips, tech rivalries, and the future of, well, everything. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more tech deep dives, hilarious news segments, and thought-provoking conversations. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and stay tuned. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries. Oh,